What's up guys, Power Bang here and I'm bringing you guys a strategy guide today on Dragons at Town Hall 9. Uh, this is something that we've been doing here at WHF for months really, since the update came out. Probably within a week or so, some of us started to figure out that, hey, Dragons have made their, ba their way back into the meta of the game. And uh, before we get into it any further, though, I did want to recognize one of my good buddies, Cheatham, from over at the One Hive family. Um, he's got a YouTube channel with some great dragon videos, so I've heard. Um, so a link to that will be in the description. I haven't had the time to watch them myself. I've just been so busy. But some of my clan mates have reported back and said that he's got some great stuff over there. So give Cheatham a look, guys, and uh, I'm sure he can give you some instructions to supplement mine on dragons. So uh, that being said, let's get into it, guys. Let's go look at a couple attacks today. Um, I don't want to make this video too long but I want to give you guys an idea of what to do with dragons so first off when you scout a base you are keying on the air defenses right um, most of the town hall 9 uh, anti three star bases of this meta of this generation have that offset queen with all of the air defenses away from her so that means uh, that you can't really send in a traditional golem based kill squad through the queen position and reliably get multiple air defenses down as well. They're simply too far away. So what does that mean? Uh, split kill squads are very common. Archer queen walks are very common. Uh, but the bottom line is that you need to focus on getting down three or more air defenses uh, in order to successfully uh, get a dragon raid off. Now, ways to do that are by using an archer queen walk slash charge, uh, by pushing into the base, taking out a couple of air defenses. And then there's your best friend now, the Zap Quake method. That's dropping one Quake spell and two Lightning spells down uh, to go ahead and remove an air defense. And sometimes, as we'll see later in this video, you can actually use a double Zap Quake uh, by using a couple Quake spells and two Lightning spells on two different air defenses to take two of those out. Now, for this example here, Brando is going to bring six dragons, guys. That's going to be a very common number of dragons to bring in the dragon attack. Um, between five and seven is the most common. It really just depends. It's, it's one of those attacks that's very, very flexible in your number of troops. Uh, the first thing that you have to do is identify how many, uh, how much troop space you need uh, to bring to take out the uh, the air defenses. So Brando identifies uh, that these top two air defenses can be removed with his kill squad. He's going to bring a zap quake as well, which is two lightning spells and a quake spell, and he's going to drop it on this air defense down here. Now that's going to remove three of the air defenses. That leaves one final air defense over here. Um, to go ahead and take care of and in your in your clan castle you actually have the choice of a few things you can bring an additional uh, dragon you can well, basically you'd have a max level dragon from one of your town hall 10 buddies uh, you could bring balloons or you could bring a lava hound it all depends on the pathing that's open to that defense and how quickly you think you could get either balloons in there um, or another dragon like if the air defense was relatively exposed um, you might choose to just take dragons and, you know, if you had a rage spell left over, you could deal with it. Um, but let's go ahead and watch Bra uh, Brando here as he takes on Braxton. I'm almost getting their names confused. Um, take on this base. So the first thing that happens, and this is very key, you do not have a lot of camp space uh, left over for additional cleanup troops. But what you do have left over, you have to make good use of from a funneling perspective. You see he drops minions on both sides of his funnel here, and his goal is to go ahead and get that Archer Queen into this compartment here. You'll see a wall breaker comes down to kind of test out. Uh, the location is clear. He drops in three more wall breakers, narrowly avoids the mortar, and opens up the wall. Not sure if that's the compartment he wanted to open up, but it's not going to matter, as he does have a jump spell that's in his composition as well. So as the queen starts to work her way into the base, uh, she's going to first key on that upper air defense. That is air defense number one. Uh, so that's the first thing that needs to happen is getting that first air defense down. Now, as she takes out this mortar, uh, you know, attention obviously is going to be paid into this compartment uh, on the bottom. Uh, a hound comes out of the clan castle. He chooses to use the rage spell here for the queen to go ahead and handle that. And as you can see, the second air defense was removed down at the bottom with the zap quake. So from the top, he drops a king in with a jump spell, making sure not to leave that jump spell hanging into the middle of the base as he uh, leaves it only in the compartment where he wants that king to go. Uh, the king's sole job here is to help out uh, taking care of this air defense and then basically doing some tanking for that queen. 
Um, and the dragons now have come in from the top left. I'm going to pause it for just a moment to explain what's going on. Uh, the exposed archer queen typically does not have a lot of defenses around her. Um, when you swarm in your dragons, uh, you can actually send all six dragons at the queen location. What you want to do is kind of drop maybe one on the flank um, on each side of the main group of dragons to kind of keep that funnel going and focus them all into the base at the defenses and at the queen. Uh, the queen is low enough life where two dragons on her, one puff inside of a rage or two puffs, you know, not raged up. She is dead and she j they have too much health that they really can't do a whole lot of damage here. You'll see a hound come out of the clan castle to go ahead and tank this air defense. Now, up top, you'll notice that queen and the king have gotten the third air defense down. The fourth one is dealt with with the lava hound. Now, this is great. The, the troops are approaching. Uh, you'll notice that the uh, dragons haven't yet made their way to that air defense, but it doesn't necessarily matter. The key is to delay long enough and provide tanking cover long enough for those dragons to make their way to the air defense, take it out before it does too much damage. You're basically buying some time there. Uh, some balloons are used strategically to take out some of the defenses, um, and that is at your personal discretion. You can help shape the base from a defensive standpoint to help those dragons kind of uh, work their way to the inner portion of the base. And the, the great thing is, is on the backside, you can drop your cleanup troops, if you have some, uh, where the queen is actually acting as a tank with those healers on her. So she should survive, that is very key. Uh, she is the, the main cleanup force that you have, and as long as you're able to make it through the base with her, uh, you should be good to go as far as getting everything cleaned up on time. As you can see, just ground defenses left, the dragons rip their way through them, and this is a three-star for the good guys. Brando showing us how it's done. Uh, let's go ahead and look at one more example. This time, let's look at a double zap quake, and we will look at Old Snake here taking on number 25. I'll pause it real quick while we do a quick scout. Now, if there were two air defenses, guys, that you were going to have to take out with your kill squad, which two look the most vulnerable to you? Now, if you said the bottom left, uh, that is exactly right. Look at that. Very, very easy to go ahead and approach those two air defenses, take them out with your kill squad alone, and uh, notice one of the air sweepers here is actually pointed at those two air defenses. So dragons coming from behind that will be no issue at all. Uh, notice this other air sweeper is not really pointed in a direction that's going to help uh, as drags approach from the top where the queen might be. Um, so this base is kind of ideal for this method. Now, the problem in this base is the air defense on top next to the queen. That is kind of tough to get to um, with all of these heavy you know, hit point buildings like the town hall, the storage up top. So the dragons are going to be under fire um, by that air defense if it's not dealt with. So if you'll notice the spell composition for this raid, he's got four lightning spells, guys. And he brings a zap in the clan castle. He, or it's not a zap, excuse me, a quake in the clan castle and a quake in his army. Now... If you can reach two air defenses at the same time with the quake, for example, if these two air defenses were slightly closer, um, maybe say there was one where the dark elixir storage is and one where this air defense on the left is, you could use one quake there and save the quake in the clan castle, maybe take a haste spell instead, and then that would allow you to basically have a, a one speed boost for your dragons. Um, but he decides to take out two air defenses with his spells. He's going to take out, obviously, the one here on the right, and the one up top next to the queen. Uh, the additional lightning spells up there will do some damage to the queen and soften her up before the dragons arrive. And then he's going to do some nice work on the bottom here uh, with his kill squad um, in order to make those two air defenses go down. So again, the first thing that you're going to see are some minions coming down to funnel in a strategic location. Notice there's just ground targeting defenses over there. Uh, same thing on the bottom. He's going to do some funneling. The two earthquakes go down, and at this point, it is time for the zaps. The zaps go down on the bottom right, and then on the top as well. Uh, that queen gets a little chunk taken out of her, and it is time for the kill squad to do some work. So uh, the funneling is pretty much done at this point. He could do a little bit better on that bottom right side. You're going to see that develop in just a moment. In his clan castle, he's chosen to take a golem to supplement his push in to get those two air defenses. Now, the wall breakers come down, open up the wall, and that's going to make the pathing very, very easy for the king and queen uh, to get in there and target what needs to be targeted. This is going to leave zero air defenses left up for the dragons, and as long as... He's got seven dragons in this army composition, guys, so as long as he gets all of the air defenses down, he doesn't necessarily need a lava hound or any spells to go ahead and take 
take out the remainder of the base. It's going to be done for him. So he waits for the golem to get in. It's doing some tanking. Uh, the wizards are backing it up. Uh, this air defense over on the right is almost down by the golem and wizard so far. And obviously the queen has nowhere to go due to the funneling of the minions earlier on. She's going to go take out the expo, step up, take out the... Uh, uh, air defense. All, or, all four air defenses are down now, guys. One dragon is on the top on that storage to go ahead and make the funnel, and uh, that is going to force the rest of the dragons in, and as soon as that queen fires, look at them snap to her. Boom. Pretty much one shot. Takes her out, and at this point, you know, they are eating a few traps. He starts to trail in balloons. Uh, he supplemented this dragon army with several balloons. Now, their role is not only to take out some defense buildings and make uh, fewer trips for the dragons to stop, but they're also going to absorb some damage and actually do some off-tanking here. Notice the Tesla's here firing at this uh, that balloon while the dragon takes out, um, you know, the, the defense buildings. And it's kind of a, a trade-off. It's a back and forth. Now the dragons are taking, tanking for the balloons. It moves in and gets a couple of defense buildings taken out. So... Really, really good synergy here with Dragloon. It's kind of the new style uh, Dragloon attack. Um, but guys, again, the queen has survived. That is very key for the cleanup. Uh, and notice on the right side, he's dropped his remaining couple of wizards. They're going to go ahead and help with the cleanup as well. Uh, but that's pretty much it. He still has four or five dragons left up. The queen is up. Uh, the, the cleanup is pretty much already done in the base just due to the fact that he's you know hitting it from all sides. Uh, beautiful, beautiful attack from Old Snake here, guys. Uh, so to recap what we've learned today, uh, we've got to take out three plus air defenses uh, during your entry. Now, that could be a split kill squad. Uh, that could be, you know, a queen walk taking out three exposed air defenses on the side. It is very, very base dependent. I can't show you all the examples today, but perhaps when I find some more examples, I'll do a follow-up to this video uh, to show you guys exactly what this looks like. Now, uh, getting those three air defenses down, you need to probably tank a, uh, take a Lava Hound uh, for that air defense on the backside, wherever it happens to be, um, and that will buy some time for your dragons to approach. Uh, we saw some loons being supplemented in. Um, you can actually combine this strategy with uh, kind of a Laloon as well. I'll show that in another episode as well. But just wanted to show you guys today that Town Hall 9 dragons are back. Um, if those, you know, if some of you guys had not figured that out yet, uh, that is okay. Now you're aware, and uh, you can start practicing to get those dragon attacks rocking and rolling. Uh, just take out those three air defenses, maybe even four. Remember that you have the Zap Quake at your disposal. Remember to send the dragons at the queen because she's not really going to do a lot to hurt them. And uh, the clan castle even uh, can be taken care of as well. If you don't know what's in it, make sure that you try to lure that with your queen um, and have a poison spell on hand to help yourself out as long as you have that camp space available. So guys, hopefully you've enjoyed the episode. This has been Town Hall 9 Dragons, a little class strategy session with Power Bang. Uh, for those of you uh, that are new patrons to the channel, thank you so much. Had quite a few come in this weekend. Uh, I just wanted to express my heartfelt thank you to each and every one of you. Uh, you guys are the, the ones that allow me to do what I do and bring this content to you guys. So uh, for now, uh, this is Power Bang. I'm signing out till next time, guys. Take care.